We will be discussing with our correspondent, a new central correspondent, Chimwe Ugele, who is live at uh, Uma here to tell us about the sit at home order. And we did tell you earlier that uh, it seems like uh, people in Uma here, residents in Uma here, have decided to take their destiny into their own hands uh, by ignoring the sit at home order uh, by the Biafra people or Republic government in exile. Hello, Chingwe. Thank you so much for joining me on the news. And what can you tell us about this particular issue happening in Omaha right now? The order was issued by a body um, known as uh, Biafra Republic Government in Exile, you know, a few days ago, ordering people to stay at home on Friday today, then Monday, next week, Monday and Tuesday. But today it does appear that um, probably it's because of the season we are in, probably because people are already tired. Um, so it, no one is complying to the order. Um, maybe because it's become incessant. So people feel um, they are not getting any um, uh, results from the uh, several sit-at-home orders that had been complied to. So um, within the capital city, you see everybody uh, going about their different businesses. Uh, traders are in their shops, uh, workers are at their workplaces. And so um, there's uh, almost zero compliance to the sit-at-home order, even though um, there were concerns as of yesterday whether um, it will be complied to or not. What I know is that as for intra-city um, movement, uh, there's no problem. So where you usually have issues uh, is on the highways uh, that people don't uh, seem to want to take on uh, journeys on such days where when there are sit-at-home orders. So, but um, generally within Omar here, the capital city of Abia State, um, which is also where Namdi Kano comes from, um, there's almost no compliance. People have moved on with their lives, so it looks. In uh, ex uh, Biafra, ex uh, in exile, on exile, or uh, I'm not really sure of uh, their <laughs> their name, but it seems that they are beginning to lose a grip on you know the people, especially those in Uma here. And uh, I seem to remember when uh, when uh, you know they back then when it actually started, and uh, it was the residents were actually met with so much intimidation if they refused to adhere to these sit-at-home orders. Now, were you able to speak to any of the residents to find out the actual reason why they have refused to you know adhere to the sit-at-home and how they feel about it now? Of course I did, but then not on camera because a lot of people are not um, interested in uh, speaking on camera concerning this issue as, uh, you know. For security anyone reasons, obviously. On the issue will tell you that um, there's no, really no reason why they should stay home because even if it was the head of the family, you know, in a, in a family where you have the man of the house having issues with the law and he's been tried in the court, it doesn't mean that the family won't go on. It doesn't mean that the children won't feed again. It doesn't mean that the wife will not, uh, not attend to her problems and needs. So um, that is how most of most people are looking at it from that angle that we cannot all close shop because one of us is being held. While those who uh, it's in their um, uh, purview to carry on with the uh, prosecution and all the rest of them are doing what they are doing, those of us back here will also sit and do what we need to do. Some people want to pray for him. Some people still want to you know, speak at whatever forum that, that is there for them to speak. But then people are just saying that it is, it is not right that they continue to keep them. The economy of the, of the zone is going down by the day. People... The times are hard. And then so it's, it's hard for people to meet their ends. And then you keep telling them to stay at home for no reason. So they feel and also know that um, there, there's, there's a kind of division uh, in the in the IPOB uh, family. So this body now that has called itself a BFR Republic government in exile, I do not know which um, uh, group that one. I'm just hearing of that recently. So um, and you, then you have IPOB itself. The faction that is loyal to Nnamdi Kano has come out to say 
that they are not in support of sit-at-home orders anymore. Yet those that are loyal to um, Simon Epa are insisting on the sit-at-home. And recall that Simon Epa is not resident in Nigeria. So all these um, uh, uh, order of uh, people staying indoors, uh, I think the, the masses are, are already tired and they want to see how they can, you know, by coming out. Even though you don't see security operatives everywhere in the in the in the town trying to you know make people feel at home or whatever but the people themselves have decided that they need to move on they need to feed their families they need to pay bills all right i i seriously couldn't even keep tab of the name myself they say a house divided you know against itself will not stand but well, hopefully uh we don't get to see any more agitations even as the people come out to you know uh to, to work for their daily bread. We will definitely reach out to you uh, in a later time, at a later time, to give us an update of uh, the Umahia issue and what is actually happening with the sit-at-home order. Thank you so much, Shingwe Ogele, for joining me at this time. Thank you.